Hi everybody, I'm Mike Morgan, one of the Woodshop Safety Monitors. My partner Bill Drury behind the camera and I are going to demonstrate for you the steps to be followed when changing the blade on the saw stop table saw. To de-energize the saw, which you need to do whenever you're making adjustments to the saw that require you to get your hands in harm's way, remove the cord by twisting the plug slightly counterclockwise and pulling it straight out. Now the saw cannot start up. The location of the table saw accessories include the Allen wrench for adjusting the cartridge clearance, which resides on a magnetic uh, card that contains the uh, feeler gauge. Here are the two wrenches for removing uh, and the blade, and replacement blades, other blades, and replacement cartridges are in this drawer. To change the blade, first make sure the saw is de-energized. Then the next step is to raise the guard and bring the saw blade to the highest position, which makes it easier to work inside here. Remove the insert by lifting this tab in front. And then to remove the guard assembly completely, you have to reach in and raise this gray lever all the way up. Then the guard pops right out. Then to remove the blade, you use the, the two wrenches, one on the nut, the other on the arbor, and turn the nut counterclockwise if you were looking straight at it. Here's the tricky part, everybody. Take care not to drop the nut down into the innards of the saw. It's very difficult to retrieve. And pull off the tapered washer, and the blade comes out. Then choose your blade and reverse all those steps. Blade goes back on paying attention to which direction the teeth go. The teeth want to come toward you at the top of the blade's rotation, all the way on the arbor. Washer on first, then the nut, taking care not to drop it into the innards of the saw. And then tighten it back up. And please remember that this doesn't have to be what I call gorilla tight. Just firm is good enough. Whenever a blade is changed, it's necessary, it's essential in fact, to check and if necessary adjust the clearance between the saw blade teeth and the surface of the brake cartridge. So what we're going to do when we install a new blade is check the clearance between the blade teeth and the cartridge at these two points marked in black. To do that, after the blade, the new blade is mounted, we use the feeler gauge to test the gap between the tooth and the cartridge. And in this case, that's too large a gap, so we would need to reduce it to the point where at both these locations, the gap is roughly equal to the thickness of this card. And the card, by the way, resides, it's got a magnetic catch that resides on the front of the cabinet. After you have adjusted the clearance, rotate the blade one full revolution to make sure the cartridge clearance is correct for the entire circumference of the blade. The reason for that is combination blades, for example, have different height teeth, and after a blade has been reconditioned, its diameter may actually vary slightly around the circumference, so it's necessary to make that check. If the clearance needs to be adjusted, remove the Allen wrench from the yellow plastic card, and the adjustment is done through this bolt with the yellow head right here. So turning the wrench clockwise will reduce the gap, and counterclockwise the reverse. So make small adjustments while checking with the feeler gauge to make sure the gap is correct. Then replace the guard.
press the gray lever down and replace the insert paying attention to these two screw heads on either side of the riving knife into which the insert must, must slide to be gripped in place. Some people make the mistake of setting it on top and you can feel that the insert is not low enough. Make sure it goes in properly so it's flush to the tabletop. Now you're ready to go. After following all these steps, you're ready now to begin your woodworking project. Uh, as you go ahead, just remember to wear all the appropriate protective equipment and be sure that the built-in dust control system for the shop is turned on. Once the saw is energized, the next step is to turn on the power switch and we'll see a pair of colored lights. The red is flashing, that's the initialization process and it should stop in a moment. When we have solid green, we're ready to go. Turn the saw on by pulling out the red paddle and you can push that red paddle to stop. Push it with any part of your body. So to make a cut, the first step is to raise the blade to the proper height, which is determined by the lowest or the highest gullet being in line with the top of the stock. So right there, that gullet is now at the correct blade height. Set the rip fence for the desired width. And we're ready to go. Yeah. 